Well, we just decided to take a little uh, mancation out to Vegas. Well, Vegas has everything to offer, golf, gambling, nightlife, dining, and we just knew it was gonna be a hit. So much things to do at MGM Grand. The casino was awesome. The pools were great to choose from. We had a little bit of everything. We could just hang out. There was a party pool. Pool's great. A lot of nice scenery. Oh, it was great. We, we drank, we played craps, gamble on it. I probably slept about three hours. We were right in the middle of everything, close to the golf courses. You know, we left the hotel room, we walked downstairs, and the second we walked outside, we had a, you know, a chauffeur there. He grabbed our clubs, and from there on out, everything was taken care of for us. Bali High was sick. Palm trees, white sand. The views you get at Las Vegas Boulevard, there, you know, obviously there's no other golf course like that in the world. I think that just made my experience, just to be able to see the pyramids and, and, and Mandalay Bay and, and all the, uh, the strip, it was just beautiful. Beautiful blue water and the Mandalay Bay in the, the background. I actually felt a couple times like I might hit my golf ball right in through one of those windows at the hotel. Me and my boys had such a great time. I think that's one of the best spots to come and golf because I'm right down the strip. You just pull right up, you get right in, and you play golf. Desert Pines is one of my finest courses. I mean, for me, it sets up really well to my game. I had a lot of good shots out there. I actually made about four or five birdies, which for me is just a, a great round of golf. The one thing I'd like to say about that course is just the greens rolled great. Um, I haven't played a course where the greens really rolled that well. Uh, every single hole out there was just a, you know, a tough challenge, but at the same time, a lot of fun. The best part about Desert Pines is it was just as forgiving as it was challenging. There's tight holes, there's wide holes, there's a risk reward. Solid Pete Dye design golf course. The greens were immaculate. It wasn't too long, so we didn't have to overpower it. Had a rough night the night before, so it was that perfect level of challenge you want on a rough Vegas night, and couldn't ask for anything better. Desert Pines was awesome. You know, I like it because I don't hit the ball far, so when I hit a good golf shot, it was, you know, 300 it felt like. I had 100 yards left into the green. Greens were perfect. Everything was perfect there. I'm ready to play again. I love Desert Pines because it wasn't 45 minutes away like I've, I've had experienced in Vegas before and had to be in a cab ride for an hour to get out there. It was very convenient, only a couple miles from historic downtown. Um, beautiful Pete Dye design golf course, uh, bent grass greens, uh, probably the best greens I've put it on in, in a few years. I mean, everything was just true. Uh, made a few birdies out there. And, uh, you know, it was a great golf course because I don't hit the ball very far. And I could still, uh, you know, hit wedges and, and nine irons and eight irons into, into par fours where I didn't have to hit a four iron like a lot of courses that I play. So it was just, it was a beautiful Pete Dye design golf course. And, and I definitely will come back. The coolest thing about Royal Lynx today was the fact that it was the most unique golf course I've played here in Las Vegas. Traveled all the way across the United States, played some Lynx style golf course, didn't have to go across the pond. It was right here, 10 minutes down the way from the strip, and got to see some of the coolest holes played in the British Open. Royal Lynx is one of the best courses I've played if you wanted to play a Lynx course in Las Vegas. We went to the British Open course, South Pacific at Bally High, Carolina theme at Desert Pines, got the whole world tour. I never experienced golf in that way and not having to go over uh, the Atlantic Ocean to, uh, to play uh, great open championship golf course holes. You can hit a tee shot and not know where it went and then go find it in the fairway. That's one of the best things I like about it because I spray it all over the place and probably you do too. So if you just spray one, you find your ball in the fairway. Royal Lynx was probably probably the best experience just because we had uh, we had two beautiful par mates that came out with us. And it was just such a unique experience. And, and being in the uh, you know mancation, it, it probably was the highlight of my trip. We just went online to the golf course's website. They had all three links to different golf courses as well as pictures of all the par mates. So we got to hand pick which girl we went, went with. We had blonde and brunette. As a par mate, we do anything a traditional caddy would do, from selecting your clubs, telling you the yardage, and teeing your balls to make sure you have a great time. They really led to a wonderful experience for my buddy, the bachelor who's getting married, and uh, I, you know, I really have to thank them for just for, for giving us a great time at the course. I had the most beautiful par maids are right here. Come on, girls, come on in. There they are. Yeah. Oh, we had so much fun. This is what you get when you come to Vegas and play golf. Absolutely. This is a mancation right here, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Did you guys have fun? Oh, yeah. Amazing. All right. We had an amazing time, amazing golf, and there's not much more I could say.